in this video I'm gonna show you how to uh, you how to use the spring bomb tag library and uh, this demo is my previous demo uh, I just grabbed the source code and the Java config version here and uh, the GSP is using HTML HTML to submit a form okay and uh, the first step I'm gonna do is to convert uh, the HTML form to using Spring Form form, and uh, another thing is since we're using Spring Form, and uh, we have to do some changes inside the controller. So now let's uh, go through the code together. First thing is inside your Spring uh, form, which is a customer form uh, .jsp file. I'm gonna using spring form tag library. So in order to use that, I have to using the form tag. Okay, I have to add that directive. Let me see, check if actually I remember. If I don't remember, then I'm gonna copy from somewhere. Oh, oh. Doesn't it comes out? I'm sorry, I don't remember. So uh, I have to copy from somewhere. It's a very long URL. Oh, okay. Let me copy to here and. Uh, I don't think I have to. Oh, yeah, sorry. I have to configure for the palm. Okay. So, in order to configure for the palm, um, I just copy from other places. And the thing I add here, obviously, the same like uh, packaging in the var and the compile and the pro oh, sorry, properties, dependencies, and the build, in pl uh, build plugins. And after I'm done, then here is a green because this is included in the Spring Web MVC job files. So everything is ready. So next step, I'm gonna convert this one into using Spring Form Form. Okay, since prefix using Spring Form Form. Okay, and you can have action, you can have a method, and here you must have a model attribute okay some uh, in some older uh, old uh, code you probably see the command name but the command name uh, it's removed I think it's removed in spring 5 it's deprecated don't use that okay mod attribute equals customer and I will tell you <coughs> what is a customer this customer should be an attribute inside the model you have to set in the controller. Okay, we will go through that a moment. And the second thing, here input, we have to use in form input. Okay, now don't use in name. Okay, and you using path to bind. Okay, using path here again form input and don't use name it's gonna using path okay and here same thing form don't using them using path to bind and uh, there's no form uh, input which you type is submit you're just using the regular submit so now the first step I'm gonna fix this error okay fix this error customer okay so this is my controller when I call slash it's gonna go to our custom form and uh, here is the difference you can do this in two ways first way if you still remember model attribute after doing this let me go back to the GSP 
Now the red is gone, it's green. It means it can find the attribute. So what does it mean? When in your get mapping goes to that custom form .gsp, you must have to have an attribute called the key is yes, a customer inside the, your request scope. And as we know, model attribute will create an object, new customer inside the model, which is a request scope. And the key is a customer. That's the reason it works. This is a one way, and this is the most uh, the people or Java Spring developer use. And there's another way you can do is you create a model here. And here using model dot add attribute and you give customer new customer. Okay, they are identical. You can choose either way you like. See here also green. Okay, and uh, personally I I use model attribute the most because it's shorter. Okay. You can also do like this, so it also can find. Uh, oh, it doesn't match map, so we have to give a key here. It should work, okay? But the IntelliJ doesn't recognize. So after doing this one, for save customer, you don't need to do anything. Uh, a lot of uh, programmers also prefer to add model attribute here, okay? A lot of programmers also prefer to do that. And uh, that's all the changes you have. And that now let me show you if everything works. Okay, I'm gonna deploy into the Tomcat and to see if everything works. So I'm gonna click this one to run. Ah. Uh, this one, uh, this one is used when because we are using Java config version for config of Dispatch Servlet, and uh, he will have implicit servlet exception used, and that's in servlet API. So we have to add another dependency, which is Java X dot servlet, comma comma. Java X dot servlet. Oh yeah. Servlet API, yes. Come on. Okay, this one, and this one, and this one. And you can give a scope which is provided. Okay, and now we run again. Everything should be fine this time. Okay, now let me switch to Chrome and to show you everything works. Okay, now uh, the same thing, okay, here you can see the, it's the Spring Form Tag Library, wow, okay, it's not other project I'm running. Let me close others and the first name, your favorite, uh, again, your favorite, and again, uh, not your favorite, add a customer, so everything works, okay? And let me switch back uh, to IntelliJ and uh, explain again and uh, how it works, okay? So here, uh, for the dependency, there is no extra work. The extra work you did is uh, first in the controller, when you show that GSP, which is a GSP has the form, you have to have a model attribute, okay? You must have. If you don't have, it will throw exception. Because when we use a spring form tag library, it expect you have a model attribute here. And what does this one do? It will looking at, during, uh, when, it's running, okay? It's rendering. 
the page. It was looking in the uh, request scope using model.asmap.get attribute to see if you have an attribute, the key is a customer, the value is an object of customer. If you don't have it inside your get mapping, it will immediately throw exceptions to you. So you must have this one. Okay. And uh, then in your GSP, you just using form form, use action, using the method. By default, the method is a post. So if you don't write this one, it will submit a post request. Uh, HTML form gonna using uh, get by default. And the second one, for the form input, you using form input. Type by default is also a text. Uh, here, you are no longer using name to attribute to bind, you're using path to bind. And the value for the path attribute is the same as you, the value using for the name attribute. And when you click add a customer to submit to this action, and eventually go to your controller, this post mapping, oh, sorry, go to this post mapping. Post mapping is identical as you wrote before. People prefer to add a model attribute here. If you don't add a model attribute here, Spring will try to, Spring first will create an instance of customer object, okay, in to model, which means it will using model dot add attribute and it will put the created customer there. And before it put it there, it was trying to bind this first to call the set method on this customer and call set last uh, call set last method in the customer and call set phone in the customer. So in the post mapping, this method you can add model attribute. You can not add model attribute. So it's your choice. Okay. So that, uh, that's the basic how to using Spring Form Tag Library. And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you uh, Select because Select is a little bit different from HTML Select. Okay, uh, if you are in interested in, please see my next video. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.